Hey collectors, Anthony from Hatches Net here, and today we're taking a look at Transformers Legacy Skids. Now, Skids is a daydreamer. He prefers his imagination to reality. A quick learner, and as a result, Skids can acclimate himself to new environments and information in short order. Otherwise, he prefers simply to relax and listen to music. When we get back, we will take a look at this Deluxe Class figure. So we have in front of you the uh, Transformers Generations Legacy Deluxe Class Skids. And um, this is the first one out of the entire first wave that I've gotten that has actually had any QC issues. And they're minor, uh, unlike Bulkhead, which I actually broke a piece off of, but it didn't matter in the grand scheme of things. Uh, this one actually came out of the box with a QC issue. It bothers me when little things like this happen. Like I have a small similar issue with Scourge. And because when you, when you buy so many figures, you, you start seeing them more and more, even though they're really just a fraction of the total um, amount. Anyway, so you see I have three vehicles. <clears throat> I was trying to guess before buying Skids, which other truck transformer would he most closely transform like? And um, I guessed wrong. None of these. L absolutely none of these. Uh, the way he tucks into himself... Uh, I guess I did not expect it, but I mean, being as compact as he is, as a vehicle, I guess it makes sense. But before we get looking at the figure here, let's uh, take a look at the box. And the box is the standard legacy box. Here's his alt form in the front, his bot form and head on the right, uh, his his vehicle transformation, blah, 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 his super weapon. Uh, and then, of course, the standard side panel here. Open it up, you get the cardboard insert, we get the instructions and we get uh, ah, the don't hurt yourself paper so same stuff new day so looking at skids uh, I've never had a skids before I've you know because he is a G1 character I've always like wanted one now this one comes with an energon axe which is weird to hold you kind of just stick it on there and it, it just it looks a little off I mean, I guess it, it also doubles as a cannon if you want it to. Um, I don't care. Although, I did, before I even looked at the box, I didn't realize that these weapons combined into something. Now, funnily, these two are kind of reminiscent of Trax. Uh, but then this one just makes this super cannon mode, and that is kind of nifty. So, uh, before I transform him, let me kind of show the kibble here. So this one, this is uh, based on the Ironhide slash Ratchet mold. And uh, this is a DCS Army drone. And the legs are pretty much straight there. You close the panels on the legs, you flip the head around, arms tuck in, done. I thought, well, maybe that's how it works. Nope. So this one, his legs are the side panels. They fold around, his arms tuck underneath. Uh, this is Hot Shot from Siege and no. So then finally I was like, okay, okay. He has to be something that uh, his legs just flap over the general combiner wars, prime war stick, and his arms fold in front tires. Nope. So, I was like, okay, uh, this, he's not a big vehicle. How tight could they pack him? And it's pretty tight. Uh, so, the QC issue is, uh, let me pull this down. Is right here I don't know how well you can see that uh, apparently it was stuck and so it bent here uh, it's not highly noticeable but it's annoying enough and it it interrupts transformation a little bit but again not enough to really do too much so transformation on this guy isn't overly complicated it's just fidgety so it says First off, we need to like straighten out the arms. Oh, and I, I point out, I hate these shoulders. I hate them so much because they're kind of just here. And there is like a little piece that stops them, but it's it's fairly weak. It doesn't like ratchet in or anything. So it, it bothers me a schmidge. Uh, so pull this up. See, now this is what's reminiscent of Combiner Wars, which is, I think, similar to how, yeah, his head kind of comes up through the chest cavity. 
Um, and that is pretty much where the similarities end. Uh, as we pull that up, we um, want to pull the arms, the wheels through. So we want to turn them like this and get the arms in. Now, what will happen is there's like a tab down here. So it'll tab in once you get the wheels in the proper place. And, uh, you know, as you see, it fills out the area there. Now the picture says, or the picture, the instructions, because I, I got everything transformed except I couldn't figure out what to do with the arms. The instructions say, put the arms down here. They slide into these little pegs here uh, through these little uh, not, uh, things up here. I'm like, okay, cool, great. Again, this is a, such a tightly put together figure uh, for the transformation that, um, ugh, that I'm, I'm like, um, like every 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 millimeter counts. Let's see if I can get it to. Now the instructions are good up to a point, and uh, then they suck. They just plain suck. And if anything is not perfectly aligned, it won't stay in place. So great. And it bothers me because you have to keep fidgeting with it, and these will pop out. There is no arguing there. Uh, they will pop out. Um, one of the things I'm going to do is just to make some room is I'm going to bend the waist back a little bit because it is part of the transformation. It's just trying to get these pieces to latch into place. So you could probably already guess what kind of happens here. Uh, the waist bends backwards as the feet come forward. And I, I read the instructions because again, I was trying to figure out why he wasn't so compact, why or how to get him so compact. Um, I feel like it skipped a couple of steps or uh, the images for the Autobot instructions suck. The Decepticon ones, I don't know, they're better colored. So um, they're easier to read, but the Autobot ones just blow in so many ways. Okay, finally got these to stick into place. Just had to get entirely out of the way the hip bit and as I keep trying to close things you see what we're doing here I want to clip the back here and uh, kind of have to keep pushing in because you have to get this over this mount of the waist here to get it to snap into the place and in my copy and maybe with some conjiggering I could figure it out I just cannot get everything to line up because uh, I mean gaps happen I guess but uh, that is actually the smoothest I've gotten into the transform so far problem is my tires don't seem to be like well aligned and here's the other thing that bothered me uh, apparently these tires can go in like this for when he's transformed um, I'm never gonna remember that and you I don't know if you can hear it. there's rubbing because of the way these tires are um, it bothers me a smidge and if I can like get things to adjust a little bit and then maybe I can get my way but I worry about breaking it I mean otherwise he's a nifty little uh, guy uh, none of this seems to just lock in uh, you know it relies on the doors to do the heavy lifting and I can't, again I can't get the top to catch um, so the weapon coverage, you can do pretty much whatever you want here. Uh, I'm trying to figure out which way I'm, okay, like this. Uh, I kind of go with the <laughs> tracks version, but the <laughs> instructions said, well, you can do this, and you can do this, and then you can throw this on here for a cannon, but the windshield's kind of in the way, but I mean, he looks pretty good. It's for such a little guy. I mean, let's compare him to JP93. JP93 is uh, quite a bit larger. And they're both deluxe classes, man. All of these are deluxe classes. Let's try with... Uh, with uh, Hotshot here. Comparable. Although Hotshot has to split his legs to fit. And of course, uh, he is shorter than the Decius Army Drone. Actually, just for comparison's sake, yeah, 
their DC Rebel drone just a hair larger. So, essentially, he is the smallest, most compact, and uh, based on weight, he might actually be the heaviest. So, that's interesting. I, I look forward to what Goppet has to say about his weight, because uh, I think he's going to be um, pretty good on the deluxe scale. But uh, here is that damaged area again, and you can see there's a there's a just that that blue area right here. So yeah, that that'll bother me for a while. And that was Transformers Generations Legacy Deluxe class skids, and he's okay. I mean, here issues aside, I never had the skids before, and. For some reason, whenever I think skids, I think tracks, and I know they're different vehicles. I know they're different characters. It's just, um, it kind of just what is linked in my head. And I know there's a masterpiece skids, but I personally have never had one in my collection. So it's nice to have one. Let me know in the comments, if you're getting the skids, do you have the masterpiece one? Do you have a different skids? Thanks for watching, and please remember to like and subscribe.